I'm so cold in here. Oh, it's so cold. Everyone talking about how I'm smoking on camera is wrong. It's just, oh, so cold in here. <laughs> And it's allergy season. Listen, April showers bring May flowers, and today I'm bringing you a new commentary video on the Pethan channel. Everyone, please clap. I've never done this angle before. Do you guys like it? My friend Anna Marie posted on Twitter a while ago uh, just this screenshot of a TikTok, and I thought it was super interesting, so I had her send me the account. But this person already has almost a million followers, 22 million likes. It's Grifton time. So Kelly Cadigan is a trans woman who recently started making videos about how the left, you know what, is actually going a little too far now. Spreading a lot of obvious misinformation and Republican talking points that you would read on Facebook. Shit that straight people post uh, because they're stupid. Pick me. Choose me. Love me. L. I'm really tired of being bullied by my own community. I think it's so sad that I, I've gone to the right and I felt so welcomed, especially on Twitter. I love Twitter. You know why, guys? Because I can have a conversation on there with people, people that I don't even agree with all the time, without it being a huge fight. Non-binary people aren't real. Yeah, some real good conversations you're having. I'm close to deleting my TikTok, says Blair White fan page. I'm close to deleting my entire social media. Do it, you grifter bozo you won't i'm logging off twitter for a few the internet is too much sometimes i love twitter i try so hard to be a right-leaning centrist because i want everyone to be happy except non-binary people and other people you don't think deserve rights <laughs> you can't so easily call for the erasure of an entire demographic of people and then also be like, I just want everyone to be happy. <laughs> Dumbass. <laughs> oh my god. Bro, I'm not reading all that. Maybe God didn't make me transgender so I wouldn't be a complete bigot. Maybe I needed this experience to have a center-right perspective. Because if I was born a biological woman, I'd probably be conservative. So what you just said to me, if this person wasn't trans, they would be a cis right-wing woman. Which means they would be transphobic. Like, the only reason you're not transphobic is because you experienced it? Also, like, right wing doesn't just refer to trans people. It also has to do with, like, policing and immigration. So, like, you're probably still racist if you agree with all that stuff, too. I believe all neurodivergent people were put in this planet for a reason. Even schizophrenics bipolars and down syndrome people you're perfect says crypto king 777 come on i actually lose brain cells watching some of the responses to my tiktoks some of these people are so confident while they spew out absolute bullshit it's infuriating sometimes probably not as infuriating as the view to like ratio on your tweets yeah i went there uh listen this is just what grifters say because she knows that this is what she's doing so it's day 10 of being on the right and today i want to talk about why i'm offended by non-binary people so it's day seven of being on the right and today i want to talk about which bathroom i should be using as a transgender woman so it's day six of being on the right and today i want to talk about why the term birthing people is offensive to women so it's day five of being on the right and today i want to talk about what is a woman so it's day three of being on the right and today i'm going to be removing my pronouns from all social media so it's day one of being a conservative, and today I want to talk about why I'm detransitioning. Oh my fucking god. <laughs> Listen, TikTok has a very dense queer community, and a lot of people in her TikTok comments are shitting on her, and it's very funny. Blair White era, could you possibly do it much quieter? Hope the grift is worth it. So Kelly's conservative journey so far is 10 days long, and I just want to dive into it to understand exactly the things that she's learned, and maybe we'll be, we'll be turned to the right. Maybe we will. All of us. Let's take a look at her, uh, rational arguments. So it's day one of being a conservative. It's day three of being a- She forgot day two. How do you do that? That's the- That's the second day. And today I'm going to be removing my pronouns from all social media. You know, you guys know, being on TikTok made me feel really pressured to say and do a lot of things that I don't believe in. 
<laughs> my past is so far behind me and I'm just so ashamed of it, guys. I promise. They forced me to put my pronouns in my bio at gunpoint. It took a really long time to get to this point in my transition. I'm proud of my transition. And a huge part of that for me was being able to pass and blend into society. So the last thing that I would want as a trans woman is for someone to be asking me my pronouns. <laughs> Womanhood is like a commodity, I think, in Western culture. People start treating it like it's some precious thing that's like, you can't replicate it when it's not as rigid as they say it is. You're still buying into bogus ideas about gender. You're just using your transness as a tool to uphold those same standards. And that's just silly. I've never met a single trans person who's made as much of a big deal about pronouns as right-wingers and grifters do. It's just to get you riled up. I don't get it, and I'm mad. Shut up, loser. And I already know people are gonna say, oh, putting your pronouns in your bio prevents people from having to ask you. Well, I get that. I think normalizing everyone to put their pronouns in their social media is pushing an agenda that pronouns can be anything. How? Literally how? That doesn't make any sense. How is it pushing an agenda? It's like a courtesy. Holding the door open behind you is pushing an agenda of laziness. These people are just so stupid, and they're taking advantage of people who don't know any better. Kelly is another Blair White, and I have no complaints. Hashtag Republican. Hashtag Libertarian. Oh my god. And don't get me wrong. This is America. We have freedom of speech. We, we have freedom in general. If you want to put your pronouns in your bio, you are more than welcome to do that. But for me personally, I am not going to feel pressured. By you can't say it's pushing an agenda for something bad and then be like, you can do it if you want. I'm not discouraging it. You just did, though. The first minute of this video is you talking about it with a negative connotation. You know that. You're listening. You you saw the video. You were in it, Kelly. By my community to do something that doesn't feel right for my transition. And so I'm putting this out there as a public service announcement for any trans person that might feel the same way I do. You do not have to have your pronouns in your bio if you don't want to. Hmm, I wonder how many trans people are in this comment section praising this fucking moron. People like yourself with common sense are always welcome. Welcome into what? I'll call you normal. Yes, common sense for the win. Oh, Blair White fans back. Yeah, not a lot of trans people agreeing with her. I wonder why. So it's day four of being on the right, and today I'm talking about why I'm taking the term cis out of my vocabulary. I've heard both sides of the argument. I've heard the left tell me that cis is nothing more than a term used to differentiate between trans people and biological men and women. And I've had the right tell me that they're offended when people call them anything other than biological men or women. But cis is still a biological term. It's not. Here's the thing. I like to think logically, right? Oh, yeah. D yeah, Kelly. Oh, we know. If the majority of society is born biological men and women and stay that way, we should probably be going out of our way to make the majority happy. Why change the world for less than 2% of the population, right? Because that's the percentage of us that are trans. You know, and I really- I, I've heard this argument a lot and it would work really well in a room full of second graders. There's only a few trans people. Why, would, why should we change anything? Life is perfect for trans people as it is. It's really ironic to me that what conservatives refer to as gender ideology is genuinely basic biology but then they'll just shit themselves and be like biology is is penis vagina that's all it is penis vagina man drink beer girl wear dress woman baby man golf it's not hard and they refuse to see the influence that society has on gender and how restrictive it can be for so many people even people like kelly who have experienced gender dysphoria and have taken steps to fix it <laughs> but they don't want that for non-binary people because they aren't real? It's just the intersection of a bunch of fucking nonsense beliefs and feelings. And you know how we feel about feelings. Facts do not care about them, okay? I really think that if we as trans women are gonna say we're women, right? Don't you think we should be listening to biological women when they say oh that they don't God. identify with- Oh my Why do you think so many cis women are listening to this trans woman being like, we should honor cis women as uh, our leaders. They're the real women, after all. That's pretty pathetic, I'll say it. Especially when we're asking them as well to like respect our pronouns and our identity. Like, I, I, if they're gonna respect me and use she, her, I'm of course gonna respect you and call you what you wanna be called. And a majority of women, at least that I've read in comments, biological women, 
want to be referred to as biological women, not cis women. Then they're stupid. They're stupid. I don't know what to tell you. I feel like it'd be a lot easier to just educate people on what cis means than it is to give in to people's irrational fears about nothing. They act like cis is a slur. So it's day five of being on the right, and today I wanted to talk about what is a woman. So my definition is someone who's born a biological female, someone that's born with a V canal. Oh yeah, let's get real specific. What does JK Rowling say? The, the woman who produces the large gametes? It's the woman that has the V canal of no more than four diameters of circulation. <laughs> it's someone who's born with enlarged mammary glands that swell over time. Like conservatives are the ones who are really strange about defining gender. It's a lot more simple to just be like, whatever, who cares? But no, it's it's someone with the fucking XY chromosome, B double negative blood type, V canal, funnel type gametes. A uterus, eggs, typically the ability to produce a child. Typically, there are so many women that can't have kids for t a ton of different reasons. What do you mean typically? How do you not see that that is kind of misogynistic? It's of X chromosomes. Now, a lot of people are going to say that's not correct because what about trans women? And my, my answer to that has always been that I, as a trans woman, am simply that, a trans woman. My entire life experience is completely different than that of a biological woman. I've said this time and time again. That this is just insane. I don't know how you would ever say this. Trans women are trans women, not women. <laughs> so she's just saying trans women aren't real women, which is just like inherently transphobic. She's trying to rationalize it by being like, I've had a different life experience, but that doesn't matter. Do you think all women have had the same life experience? What is that? You know, you have the penis route and the vagina route. I'm never going to know what it's like to produce a child or have a uterus or, you know, be able to say I have XX chromosomes because what, 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 <laughs> I don't know what you're saying. Why would you ever want to say that? Guys, please tell me your chromosomes in the comments. Because my chromosomes are always going to be XY. How many people see those, Kelly? Which is typically the male chromosome. The left Again, typically. It's not even a rule. It's not even a law. It's broken all the time. So why do we care? <laughs> really wants me to view myself as the same thing as a biological woman. And I think the trans community would find they'd be much happier and more accepting of themselves if they accepted their biology. Kelly is almost trying to redefine what transness is when it never meant its own section of woman. That's what I thought when I was in like high school and didn't know anything. Trans women are just women. That's the whole point of the trans movement. And to have someone on TikTok get 200,000 likes, literally not even using the term trans properly while identifying as a trans woman, that fucking blows my mind. This is also why sex education is really important in schools. <laughs> that just goes to show how little people actually understand about being trans. So it's day seven of being on the right. And today I want to talk about which bathroom I should be using as a transgender woman. This one, guys, we might be going downhill fast on this one. So this is a complicated issue for me. I don't really see it as black and white. I think there's a lot of gray area. Yeah, because it affects you, asshole. Pre-2015, almost every trans person had the same goal, to pass. Right? Every Hello? She's acting like passing is some kind of finish line for every trans person, when that's never been the case. Everyone took the necessary steps like going on hormones, getting surgeries done, putting effort in. And right wingers eat it up whenever trans grifters say shit like this. They constantly allude to like five years ago and they're like, it was so much easier to be trans. I'm, see, I'm normal trans. Everyone now is weird trans. It's just not that long ago. It's like, we all remember 2015. It wasn't that easy to be trans then either. <laughs> In general, nowadays, things aren't the same, right? We're telling people that they don't even have to want to pass to be, be trans. That, that gender dysphoria is not even a requirement to be transgender. This extremely small community has goals that are very different than what they were before. Goals like what? What do you, what does that mean? And I already know a lot of people on the right are going to have the opinion that if you haven't had gender reassignment surgery, you shouldn't have access to the bathroom of the gender that you identify with. And while I can see your point, I just want to bring up that, you know, a year and a half ago, I didn't look very different than what I look like right now, right? Oh, interesting. You're not really on the conservative side on that one? And you immediately bring up how it affects you? I wonder if your motivations are a little more self-centered. Or look at a creator like Blair White. Who, ah, gotcha. Who is a beautiful transgender woman, passes in all regards, but, but she's been open about having no desire to get the surgery done. Hmm, me and my friend, that would be bad if that happened to us. How about you think twice before you ban me from the bathroom?
So it's day 10 of being on the right, and today I want to talk about why I'm offended by non-binary people as a transgender woman. When I look at my own transition and just transgenderism in general, to me, I think that people are either born a man or a woman. I think some people like myself are, are born men and they feel socially that they'd be more comfortable in the female binary and, and they go out of their way to do surgeries to make themselves physically appear at, as a woman, right? It's funny that she's made so many of these videos and yet she keeps saying the same thing over and over again. If you don't pass, you're not a woman. But also, trans women aren't women. So non-binary people can't pass because there's no non-binary gender. It's all about, you know, P canal, V canal, you know? Right, or vice versa for transgender men. When it comes to non-binary people, it confuses me because you guys don't identify as a man or a woman. Come on, I fucking, I already knew this video is like the back of my hand. I'm a genius at this. You identify as either something in between or, or something else entirely. I don't understand how you could know what something else is besides man or woman. So you're saying it offends you because you don't know how we can do it. <laughs> you know, Nick is not green can play the drums and it offends me <laughs> that I don't know how he does it. Pisses me off that little fucker. And every time I ask that question, no one can tell me why they feel they're outside of the binary. How do you describe that? What do you mean? You're describing such arbitrary and philosophical concepts that really just amount to the most mundane results. What do you mean you feel outside the binary? So I know what bathroom you can go into. <laughs> you don't actually care about trans people. It doesn't matter. I don't understand what happened to being a tomboy or a tom girl, right? And, and that's why I don't like the push. Like for what the hell? It's freezing over in here. If anything, people who are non-binary more often than not consider gender a spectrum. So tomboy and tom girl would still be on that spectrum. What do you mean? What happened to them? Where did they go? White women, I swear to God, white women will do anything to get ahead. They're, they're throwing trans people under the bus so they can use tomboys as a symbol of femininity. Finally, all the tomboy, straight, white, cis women can be represented now. Just fucking chill, man. For children to transition nowadays anyways, because a lot of kids are tomboys or tom girls, and I feel like a lot of parents with woke culture today would be very quick to say, oh, my child's trans, let's put them on HRT when they turn 13 or 14. Uh, puberty blockers are reversible, HRT's all reversible, that shit is very inconsequential, actually. No. No. <laughs> I decide what's best for your children. Me, Kelly Cadigan. The non-binary community wants to consider themselves transgender and put them under the same umbrella term. Non-binary people have existed just as long as any other type of queer person. People only pay attention to like the last 40 years of American history and act like that's how the entire world has always been. When like there were non-binary people in fucking goddamn prehistoric stone age times. Conservatives don't like to hear that so they just act like it doesn't exist and it's how do you argue with that? <laughs> that that offends me because I had strong gender dysphoria to the point where I I changed my whole entire life and put my whole entire life on the line, right? Like taking hormones for the rest of my life is not 100% healthy for my body. But I had to do that because in my heart and soul, I knew I was not going to live a happy life as a man. Non-binary forces. We must cease our, our relentless attack on womanhood because Kelly Cadigan had gender dysphoria. She doesn't have it anymore, but uh, we should respect that she used to have it by not existing. Guys, just pick a side. Come on, it's not that hard. So how are you, as someone who identifies as non-binary and probably doesn't take HRT, I know some of you do, but for the most part, most of you don't, I'm pretty sure. How are you going to compare your life to mine and say it's the same thing? Th that is very offensive to me. Gaslight, gatekeep, girl boss. Finally, the world's first trans Karen. We did it, everyone. <laughs> This is like the moon landing. Am I allowed to feel that way? Because if you take out the outliers of the few who do take hormones, which I don't even know why you would if you don't feel like you're 100% a man or a woman, why would you want to take that certain gender's hormones? Huh? Yeah, hormones are like, it's like an on and off switch. That's how hormones work. Guys, if you're trans, you take the girl pill or the boy pill, make your choice. Every conservative is just, they just know so much about hormones and transitioning and medicine and science. For the most part, you don't, right? So what are you changing? your pronouns, maybe you have like some clothing that's gender non-conforming, I don't know. How can you claim that the gender binary is so rigid and then also be like, what all non-binary people do is wear gender non-conforming clothing? That's not being trans. But you're also mad because we're not being cis. 
So what do you, what do you mean? What do you want? Not trans enough, not cis enough. Hmm, I wonder if that puts us somewhere outside of your binary. Fine with non-binary people saying they exist, whatever, but don't call yourself transgender. This is the exact same thing that fucking gay conservatives have done to trans people. Ever heard of the LGB alliance? <laughs> so what happened to the left saying pronouns are not conditional, no matter what happens? We just had someone commit a tragedy tragedy, right? In that elementary school. What happened to the left saying what pronouns uh, someone uses in a court trial after they killed their whole family? Way to use a tragedy to immediately start spinning it on trans people. How can you say you care for the community when you say shit like that? God, I was supposed to clown on her, but she's just fucking nasty. And you guys went out of your way to defend that person's pronouns and said it doesn't matter what they did, no matter how heinous. Respect their identity because then you're disrespecting the rest of the community. She's always making it about community. Community this, community that. No, it's dehumanizing someone. Listen, if you just have no sympathy for anyone in your entire life, it's really easy to be like, yeah, if you do something bad, then I can deserve to take your humanity away. But a lot of people don't think like that. A lot of people have empathy and they don't want people like you deciding the fates of other people. <laughs> I said something on live stream that I have apologized for. Um, I shouldn't have made any comments on race. <laughs> Uh, she should make more comments on race. I'd like to hear those. I think there were probably a good majority of black people who back then were born and raised as slaves, probably because that's the only thing they knew. It was the environment they grew up in. If they had a slave owner who treated them well, they probably enjoyed their lives, a few of them. It's too bad Blair White already got to this grift before Kelly did because I'm sure she'd be much bigger. She has the right-wing playbook on trans people pretty much memorized and can vomit it all over people's For You page. This person's pretty uh, insipid, I'd say. Listen, if you see people like this, do not interact. This is a grifter. They are lying for attention. Anyway, that's that's the end of the video. Subscribe now. Listen, obviously never go after anyone I talk about my videos. We clown together. We clown as a family. And what happens in the family stays in the family. Instead of going to these people's accounts, go to my account and press subscribe instead. Okay, bye.